This is WDAM 7 News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. WDAM is on your side with weather radio programming. That day. is right. We sure are. And the First Lord Weather Team and other members of the WDAM family at Academy Sports and Outdoors right now in Hattiesburg. And of course, they are programming weather radios. Right now, Charles Harrington joins us live with a look at what's happening. Charles. Hey guys, we are here at Academy Sports in West Hattiesburg, uh, and we have a bit of a line forming here for folks who want to have their weather radios programmed. Um, this is part of a weather radio programming day that we do uh, periodically here at WDAM. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have four or five people, like I said, in line trying to get their weather radios programmed. We have uh, Mr. Givens and we have Mr. Snell from our uh, marketing and sales here to help folks program their radios. Two ways you can do this, you can bring in an older radio and have it programmed, or you can buy a Midland radio here for $29.99 here at Academy Sports and have it programmed. We'll do the best we can to program it for you. You need to do that because you don't know what's coming uh, this summer. Our weather can be very, very unpredictable at times. So you've got till 7 o'clock to come out tonight, bring a weather radio in or buy one here. We'll try to program it for you. So for now, we're going to toss it back to Jessica and Stephen in the newsroom. Charles Harrington reporting live from Academy Sports in Hattiesburg. Good deal and thank you Charles and right now the First Lord weather team tracking your forecast live from Academy Sports. Nick Lilia is standing by with an update. Nick. Yeah guys uh, Charles inside I'm hanging out outside in the weather uh, where us uh, meteorologists uh, are in our natural habitat uh, in the in the wild. Uh, no we're programming up weather radios as Charles was saying we've seen like hundreds of people today. I'm really proud of everyone coming out and getting your uh, weather radios taken care of before uh, hurricane season starts. Uh, let's take a peek outside Alpha Insurance Camera Network. Uh, you can kind of see what I was talking about at 5 o'clock and now at 6 o'clock as we've lost the uh, daytime heat. We've lost a lot of the cumulus clouds out there that uh, get set up from all the vertical mixing. Uh, notice that we're for the most part clear. We got one little uh, cumulus cloud in the foreground, but outside of that, uh, we're actually looking uh, pretty good across the area in terms of clear skies. Over on the radar, Southern Pine Electric radar showing not a clean sweeps. Uh, we had the uh, sea breeze rolling around a little bit earlier today. Uh, but for the most part, we're talking about uh, clear skies and just a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds. Temperature wise, we'll ease things back to around 70 degrees overnight tonight. And then, oh, the march into the 90 uh, for tomorrow. We get back to 93 degrees after some morning clouds. It'll be hot. It'll be humid. Although I will say probably not as humid as it is in like, you know, July and August. The dew points uh, right now are anywhere from between about uh, 63 and 68, 69 degrees at its worst. Where in July, the dew point is usually between about 75 and 80 degrees when we get this warm. Uh, but I will say through the next three days, I mean, either way you slice it, it's going to be hot. There's no real threat for rain. Uh, so make sure as we head through the rest of this week and toward the weekend, especially for you folks that got to work outside, uh, that you're staying hydrated and staying cool and uh, seeking some uh, AC during the day. But again, we're out here in Hattiesburg at the Academy programming up weather radios. We look forward to seeing everybody come out and saying hi. But guys, I'll send it back to you in the studio for now. And switching gears tonight, happening right now, a shooting investigation underway in the city of Laurel. Laurel police tell WDAM the shooting happened at Shoney's. That's on 16th Avenue. It happened early this morning. Now, police chief Tommy Cox says no one injured by the gunfire. However, the restaurant was hit by a bullet. Right now, no suspects in custody. Officials are looking through surveillance video at this time as this investigation continues. And people in Laurel had the chance to enjoy a cup of coffee with officers protecting and serving this morning. Those officers had their first coffee with a cop session. Now it's a chance for residents to have conversations with those officers about what's happening in their community. Just another community outreach is kind of taking the barrier down between the police and the public. <clears throat> Excuse me, they don't have to come to the police department to see us, although we're happy to see them there too. But uh, like I said, this is the first of many, and we're saying it's been pretty successful, and we're looking forward to the next one. And Mayor Johnny McGee also participating in this morning's event. Well, we're going to switch gears and send things to Steve, continuing our coverage. Well, numbers can make a big difference when choosing to continue your education. Ashley Jackson is live in the studio to share more about the cost of graduate school. Ashley. That's right, Steve. The process for graduate school can be lengthy and costly. See, I drove to USM campus where students just graduated last week and some are considering the next step in their education, graduate school. Take a look. 
We've uh, experienced steady growth each semester, including summer, because we have summer classes. It's pretty quiet on USM's campus, but that doesn't change that graduate school is set to begin this summer. Professor and director of the School of Library and Information Science, Teresa Welsh, says getting your master's is a great investment. Very um, affordable masters and uh, there's 40 credit hours in the program. With students in class and online, hundreds of scholars will take the next step this year to further their education. WDAM made calls to USM's financial aid office. They tell us summer graduate school students in state will pay $473 per credit hour, a flat rate of 9 to 13 hours, will cost students at least $4,000. Uh, we now have about 175 students, and about half are in the state of Mississippi, scattered about. Um, the other half are across the U.S. It varies between four and five hundred uh, dollars a credit hour. Professor Welsh says dedicated students will soak in information, no matter the cost. Uh, every week, there's uh, people who come see us. Uh, they'll drive from Tennessee or uh, some even California. Yes, uh, you'd be surprised. We have students, uh, they want to come and meet us face to face before they commit to the program. <laughs> Now for all of you scholars, in order to apply, you must take the GRE, complete paperwork, request your official transcripts and your test scores. The deadline for the fall graduate school application is August 15th. In the studio, Ashley Jackson, Steve. Thank you very much. Students attending William Carey University a year from now will be enjoying a brand new student center. Fall 2020 is the completion date for a three-story student building, which uh, is being built here at the location of the old Tatum Court. Site work has just begun for this 30,000 square foot facility. It'll have a Baptist student union, a diner and grill, a computer lab, and lots of meeting space. We haven't had a place before outside of the cafeteria for them to eat. Um, we've had a meeting room, but this will be a much larger, a nicer, more up-to-date, modern um, place for them to, to be on campus and to use for their space. Meantime, work is nearly complete nearby on Cary's new Tatum Court, but university staff say a grand opening date for that so far has not been set. The Kiwanis Club of Laurel honoring several high school seniors for their excellence in education during a luncheon today. The students were uh, given scholarship donations, $500 apiece, to attend the college of their choice. These students are also members of the various key clubs from the five Laurel area high schools honored by the Kiwanis Club. Today was just a, just a fun day just to give them and their parents to say thank you to the parents, the school officials, and all for, uh, for helping uh, as we're all in this together to uh, help promote the children of our community and, and make better citizens for down the road. By the way, the money for those scholarships is generated during the Kiwanis Club's Pancake Day that takes place each year in December. Statewide, three out of four students met the higher bar for the third grade reading assessment on their first try. Now, third graders must pass a reading assessment to qualify for the fourth grade. An amendment to the law back in 2016 raised reading level expectations starting for the 2018-2019 school year, this requiring third graders to score a level three or higher. Now, those who did not pass do have two more opportunities to retest before the start of the new school year. Well, it's a store that has been around for nearly 60 years. Dress Bar now announcing it's closing all of its 650 stores. That according to the Associated Press. Now, the clothing store employs at least 6,000 people. We were able to speak with some shoppers about the news of the closing. I found, I found me two blouses and one pair of pants so far. Yeah, they're leaving and I hate it for them to leave. And WDAM did reach out to the Dress Barn, which is on Hardy Street. Employees say as of right now, there's no word on when that store will close its doors. An Oxford, Mississippi police officer charged with murdering a mother of four. Next at six, we take you to the courtroom where he faces a judge for the first time. Hello, this is Master Sergeant Harry Blakeney from Oak Grove with the 184th Sustainment Command at Camp Air of John Kuwait. I'd like to give a shout out to the graduating students at Oak Grove High School, Presbyterian Christian School, Lamar Christian School. Congratulations and good luck. 
State lawmakers are in a disagreement about the Equality Act that recently passed. Let's take a look tonight. Now, the bill federally protects sexual orientation and gender identity and prohibited categories of discrimination. Now, the bill is praised by House Democrats, but not so much by Mississippi Republicans. You know, the name of the bill sounds great, Equality Act, but it's really an anti-religion bill. And the more, and I think if more of my colleagues would have read it, they would have realized this is actually doing more harm than good. Well, I think it's clear that this act represents who we are as Americans. Uh, everybody in America should be treated the same. The Although their overwhelming is uh, support from the Democratic Party, it's unclear if it will receive a floor vote in the Senate. Well, an Oxford, Mississippi police officer facing a judge for the first time on a murder charge. That's right. Officer Matthew Kenny is charged with the murder of a mother of four tonight. We send it to Ali Herrera, who has more on this hearing that was held in Oxford. The family of Dominique Clayton visibly upset after Oxford police officer Matthew Kenny's first court appearance Wednesday. When do a defendant decide they born? When do a judge sit on a bitch of a murder child and kiki and laugh? Dominique Clayton's mother, Bessie, is referring to Wednesday's proceedings when the judge deferred Kenny's bond hearing. In this instance, the judge is allowing us time to try to work it out. That's day in, day out criminal law. That's how most cases are handled. Clayton's family also made claims Judge Andrew Howarth was not taking the case seriously in reference to moments like this in court. Now, did I correctly say? I asked the judge directly about those concerns. I really can't make a public comment about anything except things related to improving the judiciary and public information. 38 year old Matthew Kinney is charged with murder in the death of 32 year old Dominique Lachelle Clayton. Clayton's family says over the weekend she was shot inside her home while she was sleeping. Police say they learned early on in the investigation Kinney and Clayton were possibly in a relationship. Clayton's family says the two were together about a year, but that the mother of four tried to end things. Interim Police Chief Jeff McCutcheon had this to say about the four year Oxford police officer. Matthew Kenny committed murder, and we do not want him out. We support them, and we will stand by them. WDAM 7 First Alert Weather. County reports at Hattiesburg down to 98. We're programming up weather tonight. We're going to be here until 7 o'clock. So if you're watching us at home right now, uh, after the weather, uh, jump in the car and, and cruise on over. Get yourself a weather radio, or if you've got one and you're uh, just a little unsure if it's uh, set up correctly, you can come on over too. We'll take a peek at it and see what we can't do. Old ones, new ones, we don't care either. We'll give it our best shot. Uh, we've had a couple of uh, Midland radios from 2003 and 2004 a little bit earlier today. I had a lacrosse radio, yeah, a lacrosse radio that we uh, tried to work through a little bit earlier as well. Uh, so if it can be programmed, we're happy to do it. Anyway, let's take a look forecast we head through the rest of uh, tonight and through the next couple of days i will say if you've got any plans for tonight a uh, plan on it being warm i, I can tell you with uh it, through experience that it's still toasty outside 87 degrees in hattiesburg 85 we're hanging at 89 in uh, waynesboro right now uh, over on the radar southern pine electric radar does show that we have some showers and thunderstorms just uh not near us uh, well back off to our uh, northwest and out toward parts of uh, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas. Yes, the same places where they uh, the other day. What we're talking about is severe clear. Uh, we've got uh, plenty of heat through the next couple of days uh, with afternoon highs in the low to mid 90s at least. That starts tomorrow, 93 degrees uh, for an afternoon high. We're going to be a little bit warmer for Friday, kicking off your uh, Memorial day weekend 95 degrees uh, and 96 for your Saturday. Uh, we're going to top things out at uh, about 95 again on Sunday and by the time we get toward Monday that big ridge of high pressure that's that little pink area that you see out there finally starts to weaken and slide back off to the south. Uh, that will allow us to get back to 93 degrees on Memorial Day and then as we head through next week uh, that kind of slides further off to the southeast, allowing us to cool down even further, although at 92 degrees, we're still talking about being 
four to five degrees above average. Uh, we'll kind of hang out there around 90 degrees on Wednesday. And by the time we get toward Thursday and into Friday of next week, we'll be keeping tabs on the, the possibility for something from the Central American gyre to kind of get organized, maybe uh, somewhere out into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, I will say this before you get too concerned about anything tropical in the Gulf of Mexico. That's about 10 days out, and uh, we're not concerned about anything happening. It's just something that's uh, going to be on our radar as we head through the next couple of days. On your radar, well, uh, how about the heat? Uh, we're still sunny and still hot for the next couple of days. Hot in the 90s, the heat index around 95 to 100 degrees. we got a hot weekend in store with heat index values up around 105 for some of us, and we we'll higher than normal uh, through about the next 10 to 14 days. So we start things off at 70 for tomorrow with a couple of clouds out there in the morning. We'll top things out into the low 90s, 93 in Hattiesburg and Laurel and uh, Waynesboro, 94 for you folks in Leakesville. And uh, taking a look at the next seven days, uh, the heat is on and it continues. Afternoon highs in the low to mid 90s into through the weekend and into next week. It looks like by the time we get toward next Wednesday and Thursday, uh, we may have a slightly better chance for some afternoon showers and storms as a little front tries to sneak this direction, but I wouldn't bet the farm on it at all. But again, we're back out here in Hattiesburg at the Academy Sports Programming Up Weather Radios for tonight. If you've got one and it needs to be programmed, come on out. We'd love to help you out. In the meantime, though, back to you guys in the studio. WDAM 7 Sports, sponsored by Parrish Tractor. Welcome into MGM Park in Biloxi, everybody, where Southern Miss just had a walk-off win, six to four in 10 innings. Storm Cooper joined with me, the senior infielder. And Storm, this was an absolutely crazy game. You were in the dugout for most of it. You got your opportunity in the ninth inning. Yep. Down four to one. Tell me what's going through your mind as you step to the plate. Uh, I, BA told me to go up there and take a pitch just to get settled in because I haven't been in the game all game. So. Uh, I didn't want to chase anything. I just wanted to get something in my zone and barrel it up. And of course, you're hit down the first base line, scores two runs, you end up on second. Danny Lynch would score on a wild pitch, and then bottom of the tenth, Matt Walner steps up and hits a two run homer. Just tell me the elation of the dugout when that happened. Uh, you know, when we scored the, uh, those runs, we had momentum on our side, and then when Walner w walks in the box, that's even more. So uh, we knew he just had to touch the ball and it was going to go his way. This was a huge win for you guys, not only because, you know, it's the first game, you head into the winner's bracket. Now you guys, after beating Rice, you guys will face Marshall, correct, tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Tell me just uh, what your guys' mindset is now moving forward and, and how much confidence and momentum this type of win might be able to give you. Um, just take this game and the next game and uh, take every pitch, one pitch at a time, and don't take anything for granted. Uh, this being my senior year, that's, that's what I took in the box. Just don't take anything for granted because this is all I have. Yeah. And you mentioned it being your senior year. You maybe not have had the most played appearances on the team, but, man, you stepped up big when it mattered. What has this season been like for you and, and for it to come together like this and come up big for your team? Just how, how does it feel? Um, I know some things early in the year didn't go my way, but uh, I just wanted to keep a positive attitude. I felt like that would help the team out most, and um, it feels good now to have a little things go my way. Yeah. Finally, just this crowd here, at a certain point, it kind of turned into Pete Taylor Park. Talk about the Southern Miss fans showing out today. Yeah, when they get uh, rowdy, they'll get, uh, they'll even scare some of the other pitchers. It's, it's a good uh, environment. Thank you, Storm, very much. Congratulations to y'all. The Golden Eagles get a win over Rice. They're going to play tomorrow. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Back out here in uh, Hattiesburg at the Academy Sports. Uh, we're programming up weather radios. We're going to be here until 7 o'clock tonight. So come on out and let us uh, take care of your uh, weather radio before uh, we get into uh, hurricane season. Thankfully, we've got nothing like that on the horizon. All we've got is uh, a lot of heat. Let's take a look at the 14-day forecast, which is going to be above average forever. Uh, afternoon high, uh, average high temperature this time of year is about 87 degrees. Uh, for the next seven days, we're above average. And in fact, days 7 through 14 also above average. Uh, highs uh, anywhere between about 89 and about 96 degrees for the next 14 days. Right now, it looks like our only chance for uh, any meaningful precip is going to show up Wednesday and into Thursday. And we're still only talking about maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch of uh, rain. 
uh, as a front tries to move through here. It's technically a cold front, but it's not really going to cool us down. Guys, back into you in the studio. The weather radio programming there at Academy is still going on for another half an hour or so. That is right. Head on out there. Get your weather radio program. But did you hear, Nick, he said cold front. Did you see those numbers? I don't think that matches. Well, <laughs> after the heat that we're going to have this weekend, 89 degrees is going to seem chilly. Oh, it is going to be a hot one. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. Flip on over to ABC and join us at 630. Have a great evening.